Y'all haters corny with that Illuminati mess. Paparazzi, catch my fly and my cocky fresh. I'm so reckless when. What's up? All right, well, we've made it. <laughs> we did our video, finally. So this is my channel. As you know, I had a channel before, and I appreciate my followers, but I I know I was dry and, like, really boring, so I had to bring Sophia. <laughs> I really liven her up a lot most of the time, but today she's going to be here for me. So appreciate the followers. Basically, this channel is going to be about living with a condition. I have cerebral palsy and I still live. I still do my thing. Um, it's not like I'm upbeat all the time. It is hard at times, but I want to be able to, this channel is self growth for me. Really. It's learning to accept myself more than I already have. Uh, for example, in the beginning when we did our intro with you guys seeing me walk into my car and get the car started, uh, I must've cried. I don't know, five times. Because I don't see myself walking that way. So it was really, that was really hard for me. But just a little bit about it. Um, basically, so I was born with cerebral palsy. I wasn't diagnosed till I was 17 months old. My mom had me at 17 years old. She was in a really abusive relationship with my dad. Physically, mentally. He was a substance abuser, things like that. He has recently passed away. Um, so, and I didn't know him really. My mom raised me and my stepdad and my brother and sister and my brother, my brother and sister in Texas, so we all grew up together, whatever. Um, I went to lots of surgeries, lots of things like that, but my mom has always pushed me very, very hard to become who I am today. Um, in kindergarten, she did send me to a disabled school, and I didn't like it because I didn't feel like I needed as much assistance as somebody else, even though as an adult, I see that I did now, but I didn't at the time. So she sent me to a regular school. She warned me. She said the kids are going to be mean, make fun of me, all that kind of stuff. Fortunately, they didn't at that young of an age. When I, I would say from kindergarten to third grade, um, the janitor even made me a bicycle to get around. Oh, Sophia has hiccups, and they're really <laughs> annoying. Okay, so if you if you hear that in the background, she's ruining my show. Anyway, so uh, yeah, um, see, stupid. So. She sent me to the school. The janitor made me a, a tricycle that I could ride my bike with my hands. So the kids liked it. They accepted me. Then my mom and um, stepdad decided that they wanted to move. That's when the trouble came from third grade to eighth grade. Um, it wasn't all bad, but when I first started, the kids made fun of me. I eventually grew to find my circle, my friends, and they're still friends for the lifelong friends that I've made. You know, Shout out. You guys, don't be offended. I don't know. Jamie, Becky, Katie. Stop because it needs to get somebody's name. Yeah, that's everybody. why I didn't want to do it. So you just did three people's names. So, so you know, if you're still <laughs> along the road, I appreciate you. And I and I met so many more great people. As I, as, see, I don't like to do that because everybody's like, oh, you didn't talk about me. Or whatever. I love everyone. Okay, so whatever. So then my mom will be there. The kids will be fun of me. Things like that. I was in a wheelchair. My brother would push me to school. And they would tease me and call me names. Um, but eventually I found acceptance with them. And then I had to go to high school. So it started all over again. People were talking about me. And we went to a pretty uppity high school. <laughs> super uppity. And we were super broke. Like, we were the, I mean, let's be real. We were kind of, we didn't have a lot of money. So the, me and Sophie met. And I'll tell you, you can tell how we met. Oh, yeah. This is why we're friends. She's really <laughs> rude a lot of the times. <laughs> so, um... Valerie likes to keep her stuff organized, I guess you would like to say. Okay, when I'm younger, I have my own personal, you know, my day planner. <laughs> With all her information. What if I lost it? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was getting delivered right back to your location, okay? I so, like planners. Yeah, it had everything, phone number, address. I mean. Everything. I didn't know her. I shouldn't open it up and find out all that information, but something, I have problems with my hands sometimes. She met me in photo class. <laughs> I have my little planner set out, all my stuff on my desk, okay? I mind my own business. Oh. Then. Not too much, because I knew a little bit about it. Yeah, because when I wasn't looking, she went through my, like, that's kind of like a creep. <laughs> she went through my stuff, okay? First of all, we met in photo because why? We couldn't afford the camera. At all. At all. I'm not even going to. We came into the photo class at with all. disposable cameras, <laughs> the both of us, at Centennial. That, that didn't happen back then. Kids were driving Hummers to school. Yeah. Yes, we did. 
So, go ahead with the story. Yeah, so something told me to pick up that pencil and paper, so I started writing a note to one of our friends or somebody we knew. It wasn't my friend. <laughs> Let me tell you what this was. This was not my friend. I, when I was young, I was very, very quiet about boys. I kept to myself. Again, being disabled made it even harder because I was, didn't think they would like me anyways. And... There was a guy in our class. I don't even know how she knew I liked him at the time. Oh, I, I'm Probably happily totally. married, by the way. Yeah. Extremely happy. Uh, <laughs> Extremely. By the way. Anyway, I didn't tell you I liked him. I don't know how I got that idea, you guys. <laughs> but uh, He was a football player. He was like one of the cool guys, okay? So, I would never have said I liked him, even if I thought he was cute. So, Sophia... Let me... Yeah. She... So, I'm gonna, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna let her say, but is she? This is I decided they're just you know, a simple, regular 19, probably 99 to early 2000s. No, like, hey, you know, I like you, call me. Once again, I had her phone number not because I knew her personally, but her planner. She went through my info, she went through my day planner, and like I said, I just she wrote this kid a love letter on my behalf. <laughs> I would never in my life, I would never in my life, remind you guys, like I said, we went to Centennial, uh, very <laughs> uppity, proper school, sorry Centennial viewers right now, but I was not happy at that school, got made fun of, I'm in a wheelchair, hanging out with this Puerto Rican girl, <laughs> whatever, right? Let me finish the story. This kid, the football player, you know, whatever, I don't know him. Black guy walks by, uh, comes down in front of me. I'm like, I'm panicking. I'm like, whatever. And he's like, um, sorry about not calling you last night. And I was like, <laughs> I'm like, who's, I'm like, what? I, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, don't worry about it. Mom. It went pretty well, though. It really did. No, it didn't. He says, don't worry about it. I got your note. I'm like, what? She's laughing. I'm like, <laughs> What is, I, I didn't write you though. He's like, you don't have to be shy. I know you're shy. I'm, he's like, I have football practice, but I will call you tonight. I'm like, I didn't write you. I wouldn't, I wouldn't do that. So he leaves. So I, Sophia's still laughing. I'm like, did you, did you do something? She's like, you left your planner right there. So I just wrote him this note. And I'm like, you wrote that guy a note? What the hell? I would never do that. Mind you, she's plain Jane. Short hair with yeah, a I had a little bob. With a Winnie the Pooh little sweater. I didn't, you know what I mean? I was already self conscious enough. Then this kid comes to me and does, and is so positive, so for sure I wrote it. How did you give it to him? Uh, um, I kind of remember like it was yesterday. I'm going in front. It was in the library for whatever reason. I was in the library, but I was in there and weird. I just remember really weird. She can't even him. read. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, to, no to viewers. I can't. But anywho, um, I just something just walked me up there. I don't know if it was Satan? the starter of our friendship. And um, I just said, here, this was from Valerie. And I handed it over to him. And he took it. And I would never. <laughs> just went from there. It, went, it didn't go nowhere. First of all, he didn't take me on a date, but it didn't go anywhere else after that. Ever again. That's how we met. Okay? <laughs> That's how we met. Then yeah. I had some issues, you know, whatever, at school. So if you would have my back, blah, blah, whatever. That's not about this. <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's not about this. So this channel is just going to be a fun channel. We are going to talk about my my things I've overcame in my life. Like I said, being a mother with spastic cerebral palsy is it, crazy. I got a 2-year-old, a 3-year-old, a 10-year-old. I have a awesome husband, best friend. Like, every when I leave the house, there's never been a day that I probably haven't been talked about, stared at, or even helped. Even somebody opened the door for me. Like, it, it, it's, days are hard, but people are always there to help, and I, I'm so appreciative of that. And so, yeah, it's just going to be a fun channel. Just wanted to kind of introduce ourselves. Sophie and I have been friends for over 20 years. We've been together for about 20 years now. <laughs> not to, not she, together. She I, doesn't like when I say that. Yeah, we have, I always have to fix that. I not to, why. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, you guys know. <laughs> I'm cuter than her, and she's not my type. <laughs> not at but all. She's chocolate. not. She's not my type. Chocolate. She's not my type. Um, but again, we're going to talk about finding acceptance in disabilities. Sophia finding acceptance in her. She's gay. You already know that. Picked <laughs> up on me so many times. And, uh, not at all. 
So yeah, but no, this is gonna be a fun channel. We're gonna we're gonna do um, the escape room on one of our shows. We're gonna do videos of the kids, videos of me and my husband, just me and Sophie. We spend a lot of time in the car. <laughs> a lot. We drive around <laughs> yeah, a lot. Yeah, we get her. We but can. we have fun. So I appreciate you guys watching the channel. I really do. Again, it was big for me to. <laughs> Make sure you guys start watching. I'm just kidding. Somebody didn't think we had this is playing some music. They are. Okay. <laughs> We're at the park. She's been so hold on. We ran. What's going on? I'm turning She's it off. He turned it off. I turned it off? Is that my music? It's not your music. It's what you think is happening. There's a person behind us. Okay, guys, stay tuned to our videos. It's going to be awesome. <laughs> Peace out, YouTubers.